Evidently, somebody must have an oversized wheel tire or something in here. Wait, the bike came with it. No, it's a stock size MT90. Now. So why is it cocked? You got a cocked up wheel? You no, it just needs sideways? to. It just needs to be a little massage. Ready to sell this bike before the tire's bald because it's almost bald. You only got that much left. Hey, it's my wife's bike. She goes a lot. She goes straight. If she falls down. We don't care, right? Oh no. Well. All right. Let's see here. to the right, I think. Yeah. That was a precision laser test there. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Precision right there. Like, it is precision. Sc scowlin, eye closed. Scowling pre precision. You look at it. It lines up now. Well, I gotta look at your camera. You gotta look down low. So you look at this here, and you go in until you touch there, and you get an idea of where you're at relative to the frame. And you go on this side, look down this side the same way, and it's, it's equal in both ways. So that means it's straight. Sounds good to me, man. You're the expert. I could see a little more tire over here before I moved it back. Two flats. Two flats. So you're two flats off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two flats off. See, now you picked up a little clearance. You still got hardly anything, but... Now, when you go this direction, see it walks out, and you get a little more. Now, if you go backwards, it goes that way, and it gets tight. Hmm. Okay, now, we go 25 pounds of pressure. Oh, was that 25? Uh, maybe 50. What was that rating you're supposed to do? 10 uh, pounds? Yeah, it, yeah, it's perfect. Like it really matters. Um, now, you already got to check this again with about 50, 100 miles. It probably will stretch a little bit. All right. Unless it's like me driving, and about a quarter mile an hour will be broken. In. <laughs> Do a couple burnouts. Yeah, a couple burnouts in the pass. <laughs> we'll break in run. All right. Let's see, where's that fancy ass car key? I got? It's right there. It's next to the. Yeah, we already got the nut tied. I don't want this. It's right there. You just picked it up. There you well, go. I don't want to loosen the nut up. You know this doesn't do anything, don't you? It looks nice, though. No, it doesn't. It's not even that nice looking. It's all bent top. What if I just put half of it in there? Well, you know. What if they say, c'est la vie, whatever. <laughs> there we go. See, it's right on the top of the tit, so it's not doing a damn thing. It's awesome. But it looks like it's safe. Thanks. That's all that really matters. Now when you go to wash the bike, it'll cut you. That's why we put that thing up like this. Make sure it gets you good. Oh, thank you. Thanks for looking out, you know. Go hit the brake, see if the brake works. Well, the brake is kind of... You didn't even have to brake up yet? It's indisposed. Oh, jeez. Can't even check anything until we hit the brake up now. Okay, so now we got to figure out how we did this before. Three bolts. Actually, it's three screws. Three screws. And two bolts. And two bolts. And a nut. And a, and a nut. And a bracket. Oh, and there's a washer there, too. Yeah. Well, it's a bing, bang, boom, you know? Okay, where'd these go? Look at this. Three different links. I know you were paying attention when you took it apart. I clearly took it. Yeah. That one goes down there. Good, good call. Oh. Very nice. Pretty good guess, huh? Really good guess. I would have got that really wrong. You would have put the wrong one away at the bottom? I don't know. I would probably have to do it nine, to, nine times, you know. Nine times. See, I know this goes into a hollow dowel, so that means it's going to have to be longer to go in there. This probably goes to a bolt that comes out the motor mount back there, so it's probably pretty short. So that's why I want the intermediate line here. And this one here goes right in the case, so I know it's only the thickness of the cover. Hmm. So that's why I had to guess. But it's, as you can tell, you don't take too much to figure it out just by sticking the hole. Even you could probably figure that out at some point. Yeah, well, nine times. This would have changed it. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you put this all on there, it's hard to get the nuts, so it's better to do that now. But you probably can't do that because you got this stupid thing on there. But. 
I guess this doesn't matter anymore. See, on the older bikes, there used to be a stop right here, so you actually had to have this up here first. Yeah, it was a washer on which side? Oh, isn't that backwards? Or see, the washer goes oh. on this side because see how that nut ate the washer up? Oh, yeah, so yeah. So you know that goes like that. It goes like this. You probably would write it that way. I don't know. Is it like that? How about this? That's on backwards. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> like the bracket. You have a fit better this way. It's more, it's more, yeah. It doesn't want to fit on this way. You can see it doesn't fit right in there this way. Oh well. Too bad. Here's that brand new wrench. That thing's deadly. This is the used one. Assuming the bracket's supposed to be straight. Okay. Tight enough for you. Thanks. You want to make sure you push it up a level. So the screws are going straight, not cross-threaded. So it looks like we're going all the way through this bracket into the cover. So you got multiple pieces. What happened? You changed it out. There you are, see? Take the big tools. Big tools. Heavy duty part, big he tools. Heavy duty part. Big tools. Big tools. Torque was that? Tight. That's the one. <laughs> when you feel it stopping to collapse everything and it's starting to feel more like you're, you're stretching it, that's when you stop. Oh, good. Now, if you goodness. keep going after it feels like you're stretching shit, then you know, that's when you start stripping stuff. So. Oh. So it's all that feel. I'm not there yet. It's like that screw doesn't feel like it wants to go in. It's going in sideways too, see? Good enough for you then, right? Oh yeah. You probably want to put these stupid ass things back in there. Absolutely. Look at the high flow potential we have on that. It's good torque. It ain't good for torque. It's good for plugging up the port. Once you put it in like that backwards, it run better. You know, if you put the right pipes on there, it would run better. Well, it's my wife's bike. Well, you used to have the incorrect ones on your bike, too. I still do. Yeah. I thought you put good ones on your bike. We're going to. Oh. That was a while ago. Well, you know. What's this? Engine uh, assembly lube. We're going to lubricate your nuts, your threads. Oh. That way they'll torque better and not strip out. That's optional. Stripping is always optional. Not for some young ladies, you know. <laughs> you know see that big dent right there? Uh huh. That's probably a leak in progress. So if you leave it like you had it, you probably had an exhaust leak. See that dark color right there? Mm -hmm. That's easy when the f gases were escaping. So do you want to fix that or do you want to just leave it that way? I mean, I'm sure you can just bend it out and make it fix. You can probably fix it? Okay. Yeah. It require a specialty tool.
to resemble this tool here. A little better. See how flat it is now? Uh -huh. Still not quite flat, but it's at least there's a little bit of a tit sticking up to hit on something. And you have the double box wrench, it has an offset to it. And the kickoff clears the frame. So. Uh. If you have the flat version, like a combination has, then it bottoms out and the frame doesn't work as good. Okay, see the torque we're putting on that? Mm -hmm. well, that's about right. You can just keep going and strip it out if you want. Oh, that sounds like a really good plan. I thought you would. Pretty tight now. All right. So let me put this board over here in Jack. And then... So what's going to help me sit on this bike? It's like your swing arm's level, so it's going to probably stay where it is.
whatever size nut that is, it doesn't like being on a half inch wrench. One pair of flaps it won't even go on. Here's your zip ties don't hold that very good. Well, that's what I got. Precision done. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Looks like crap. Only the best, you know what I mean? There's the same defect right here. Where'd you buy these defective exhaust systems? Came with the bike, you said? Came with the bike. That explains it. So if you hear someone there, you can feel it. Yeah. That's when you know it's close enough. Oh, you wanted that stupid thing back in there. Oh, yeah. That's what was on the bike. Oh. I'm gonna modify this a little bit. I think can modify it a little bit. For performance reasons. I can't tell if it's exactly where I need to be. It's in that general area. No lube? I already lubed it. Don't you watch him? Oh, yeah, I mean, I was sleeping. <clears throat> I have to play back the video make sure I did that. Yeah. I'd be sneaking one by you and not telling you. Still adjust itself what it needs to go to. Not go. Okay. Okay. Well, it was just laying here. Well, we dropped one, didn't we? Remember that nut we dropped? Yeah. Definitely need it now. Yeah. You know what you did with it. Oh, I'm looking for it. Me too. 
probably in some spot you can't get to. We're gonna do some hunting for it. 